An uplifting story this evening. It was a first of its kind procedure at Nebraska Medicine, and now a young girl has a chance at a healthy life. This Valentine's Day is a celebration of life and the gift of a new heart. A 15-year-old girl from Dakota City, Nebraska, becomes the first person in the state to receive a heart-lung transplant, and with it, the gift of life. Reporter Megan Hahn was at today's announcement at the Fred and Pamela Buffett Cancer Center. Megan. Hey Greg, in a press conference today, Maria Wilmis credits her organ donor for this blessing of life. When we found out that her health was declining rapidly, it was, you know, we knew it was coming. 15-year-old Maria Wilmis's family didn't expect that time to come so soon. You always expect it to be a year from now. You just always are not ready for it. I could barely walk around school or really go anywhere without my heart pounding and me being out of breath. And it was painful, and I, I couldn't stand it anymore. Since age two, Wilmus has been fighting the symptoms of pulmonary hypertension, from constant nosebleeds to extreme fatigue. Doctors said she'd need a new heart and lungs within 10 she to 15 years. At Thanksgiving, Wilmus was added to the transplant list, and by December 5th, she was in the operating room, undergoing a nearly eight-hour heart-lung transplant surgery. A team of skilled specialists with Nebraska Medicine performed the operation with no complications. Most of all, I'd like to thank my organ donor. <sighs> because if it weren't for my organ donor, I wouldn't be here today. I'm so appreciative of Nebraska Medicine. Um, I saw someplace um, under your, your logo, Serious Medicine, Extraordinary Care, and that's really, really true. The hope is Wilmis will return home to the Sioux City area by March. The high school sophomore is looking forward to performing with a school dance team and the chance to experience life like any other teenager. I'd be able to do my homework because sometimes at night um, after school I would get so sick and I wouldn't feel good and I wasn't able to do it, but now I, I have the energy and I have the health to be able to do it. Valentine's Day is also National Donor Day. In Nebraska, about 500 people are currently on the organ transplant waiting list. Reporting in studio, I'm Megan Hahn, 3 News Now. What a great story and well told, Megan, and everybody is rooting for that teenager. For sure. Wonderful to see. She's so sentimental. It's, it's touching. And grateful. That's, yes. that's wonderful.